and assalamu alaikum ultra scan diagnostics here this is the high resolution endodontic mode of the upper right quadrant the area of interest is the upper right second molar now the upper right second molar has had root canal treatment done the root canal treatment as we can see on the axial view um, this is the temporary restorative material as you move down apically we can see this is where the chamber opening is the chamber is located quite center of the tooth um, as we move further down, they, we have a very interesting canal configuration. This is the palatal, this is the mesiobuccal 1, this is the mesiobuccal 2 and this is the distobuccal. Now they are all so close together, um, the MB1, the distobuccal and the palatal appear to be um, prepared whereas the uh, MB2 uh, does not seem to be prepared on the axial view. On when we see when we move down, we can clearly see that all the four canals have separate APCs. Um, but the mesiobuccal one and the mesiobuccal two, the MB1 and the MB2, their apex meets right close to um, the, their their canals meet right close to the apex. Um, if we look at the coronal view, so this is the coronal view. Um, this is the MB1. We can see a very faint MB2, but we can clearly see that the MB2 is present. We can also see that the MB2 um, joins the MB1 close to the apex and exits as one. This is the parietal canal where we can clearly see. Um, and when we move towards the distrobuccal canal, um, so this is the distrobuccal canal. Interestingly, the distrobuccal root is quite significantly short and narrow. Um, so, uh, preparation of this root needs to be done very carefully. So, this is the distrobuccal root. We can see it is prepared all the way till the apex. We see minor sinusitis present here as well, but no periapical radiolucencies can be seen as such. Now, moving to the sagittal view. On the sagittal view, we can clearly see that so this is the parietal canal. Um, as we move towards the midline, so this is, these are the two, this is the Distrobuccal canal, here we can see the distrobuccal canal and then these are the two, the MB1 and the MB2. So MB1 is very clearly prepared whereas the MB2 faintly we can see right here. So this is the, there we go. So this very faint root is the MB2, there we go. So this is the MB2 canal right there. So, if there are any further questions regarding this case, please feel free to reach to our team. Um, we don't see any cracks, we don't see any major uh, J-shaped radiodocencies, but yes, something that of note is that the MB2 canal is definitely present. There is sinusitis present um, and in this tooth as well. Thank you very much.